Oh, there's a fish. No, oh, that's a good fish. This one. That's a good fish. Fine wood, pitch to wood, huh? Fixing my... Oh my God, this thing's a donkey. What's happening, fish and friends? Welcome to another episode. Yes, I've got another aluminum kayak video. Just got to the lake. There is, uh, there's nobody here with a boat. So looks like I might be all alone, but I hear somebody else coming around. But beautiful weather. Hopefully we can find something. We've got some clouds and stuff rolling in. Potentially a thunderstorm. I don't know. Hopefully we can find a few. I don't know what they're going to be biting. I didn't bring a wacky rig today. So no wacky rig. I think I do have a Nico though, but got a few things loaded up. Yep, we got a few things there. Let's see if we can find them. Let's get this launched. <laughs> All right, well, first one of the day is an absolute beast on the old chatterbait. At least we're on the board. Thanks, guy. Anything interested in the old D-bomb here? Sea wood, pitch into this wood. Hung my chatterbait up there, so instead of, oh, it's super shallow. I was trying not to blow up the spot and was gonna, oh, there's a fish. No, oh, that's a good fish. I was just gonna say it's super shallow. Oh yeah, solid fish. Isolated brush. Whew. All right, well. Second fish of the day was better. See, that is exactly why I didn't go over there and blow that up. Shallow little isolated piece of wood. Missile baits D-bomb. Oh, trying out those spear point hooks. That one kept him held. Gosh, he's got something else in his mouth, it looks like. All right, there we go. Chunky two something. Let's just get a weight. Let's see. All right, there we go. Two seven, two seven, two and a half pounder. Man, you can tell. Look at the gut on that thing. That dude has certainly been eating. All right, there we go. Second fish of the day. That's what we're talking about. Nice, chunky. Look at that. Chunky little two and a half pounder. All right, man. Or girl, whatever you are. Get on out of here. Go. Go. Yes. Okay, well, super simple deal here. This is just a little three eight ounce tungsten. Missile baits D bombing that bruiser color. And I didn't want to blow up this stick pile. Look, there's not even much here but I threw it to the crotch of it. Always throw to the crotch of the tree. Threw to the crotch of it, and uh, what was there? Find wood, pitch to wood. There's one. That's a good fish. Nope, he was in the wood. Dragging it right by the wood. Fine wood, pitch to wood, huh? All right, that works for me. That works for me. Nice. Oh, he's a chunk. All right, well, two for two on fine wood, pitch to wood. Look at that little chunky guy. All right, well, another one on the old D-bomb. Thanks for biting there, guy. Let's see what this guy goes. Man, look at the belly on that thing. All right, there we go. Third, oops, make sure we're not touching anything. Third fish of the day, two pounds, 10 ounces. Another two and a half pounder. Okay, okay. I dig that. All right. Well, a dink to start out, of course. Had to get one of those. And then a couple two and a half pounders. And that one is fat, fat, fat. Go. Go fish. Off. Look, you're off. Off he goes. Well, I mean, there's a reason I tell you all find wood, pitch to wood. I don't say it just to be fun. It's it, bass love wood. I mean, I got to get shirts with that on it. Find wood, pitch to wood. Just dragging the old black and blue D bomb around and felt that dude tap it and off went my line.
finally. That guy hit it like three times there. <clears throat> Go figure, it's a, a beast of a dink. It's all right, that's a fish there, dang it. I do hit it, I don't know how many times off the edge of that. Finally got you, little guy. All right, but that's all right. The pattern holds true, fine wood, pitch to wood. Finding a few fish, dang it. Oh my God, I can't believe I wasn't recording there. I was just fixing my, oh my God, this thing's a donkey. I was just fixing my camera and I just said, man, I hope there's just a big old five pounder laying right here by this. I threw it right there by that big log. Oh my gosh, look at this. This thing is a donkey. Oh, I swung on it. I'm like, is that a, nope, that's not a snag. Oh, this is a five pounder. That's my biggest fish of the year. Where are you at? Please don't throw that hook. Oh my gosh, freaking donkey. Oh, spear point hook, kept it pinned, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's my biggest fish of the year. Holy freaking donkey faced cow. That's all oh, certified big old pig headed donkey. I swung and nothing moved. There we go, finally, five pounds, seven ounces, eight ounces, seven, eight ounces, five and a half pounder. Had to get a couple pictures with that big girl, my stupid camera, I can't believe I didn't get that hook, is that darn it? But oh my gosh, look at that fish, look at how thick she is, dude. Look at that, she is a freaking mondo. All right, girl, there you are, you are back in the drink. Off she goes, see you big girl, yes. Oh, all right, I had to take a second there, fish and friends. How often do I tell you all, fine wood, pitch to wood. I am so sorry I didn't get that hook set on camera, but literally just a big, huge stump in the water. I throw to it. Uh, I feel a little think, and I'm like, uh, is it, was that a, a, a log? Nope, line starts moving to the side. I swing, it doesn't move. I'm like, oh yeah, it's a good one. Head starts digging, and there it was. Five and a half pounder. That's my biggest fish of the year on the black and blue. Missile baits, D-bomb, Texas rigged. Whew, got it done. Man, I was shaking, trying to get the camera on. I'm like, oh my God, please don't lose this fish. Whew. All right, let's keep fishing. little guy fine wood pitch to wood even the Debo dinks like the wood all right well another little doodad to the tally not a monster appreciate you eating though fella well I would say it's been a pretty darn successful day on the missile baits D-bomb I'm gonna throw a few more pitches at this a couple other spots to hit then I have to call it a day I got out late I still got stuff to do at home should have been out here early all right, fish and friends, just got home. I got rained out. Unfortunately, uh, I was trolling over to the other side of the lake to hit some more uh, spots with wood, but started pouring. So just got home a little bit ago. But anyway, the story of the day today was the missile baits D-bomb. All my fish came off that. Let's take a look. That was, in fact, the hero of the day. The missile baits D-bomb, I've told you all before, one of the best beaver style baits out there. You can see nice compact profile. You can see not a bunch of crazy appendages and stuff on it. Got those two big flappy leg deals on back. I was using the black and blue, they call it bruiser, but wow, I couldn't believe when I stuck that five pounder and I can't believe I didn't have my camera on. Okay, now as for the rod reel line, the reel is that Okuma Helios reel. Digging that reel, um, this is a seven three to one. Flipping and pitching is nice. Cast and retrieve, this is the same one I have on my crankbait deal. Awesome little reel. I'll have a full uh, review video up on that soon. The rod is that FX Extreme Angler Series rod. I am really liking that rod. It's got the wind grips. Nice just black and gray. You can see the stats there on it. 7.1 medium heavy rated for lures up to 3 fourths of an ounce and I was throwing that with a 3 8 ounce tungsten rig down there. I was so upset because that hook said as soon as I set the hook I knew it was a good fish and I thought, oh, is it a snag? Nope, nope, it's a tub. And indeed it was, but I was just glad I got it on camera so y'all could see me uh, actually land it. But anyway, yeah, the D-bomb does awesome. Uh, I went over the combo and everything. Ugh, I'm just still in awe. I wanna go catch more five and a half pounders. But anyway, today's subscribe feature your friends, my guy, John Baker. John, thank you so much for watching and supporting. And thank you everybody else who continues to watch and support my videos. It means a ton to me. So um, I need to unpack the rest of the stuff and get in and edit. So thank you all for watching. Until next time.